I'm gonna set it all up right here so you can see all the supplies that we needed. Okay. okay. That's what you're gonna need. And then you're gonna, wait, let me get a pen and fix that strawberry. to reach in here. Did you get all this? Yeah, I got it. So go ahead and start listing okay, off so stuff. Okay, I'm going to move this over. Okay. okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the sticker. Do I have to talk? Okay, so if I mess up, it's okay? Yeah. We're going to use the Velcro for his water so we can Velcro it on the side because it's an all glass tank and it can't just sit on, on there. And then... This is his wheel, which is a flat wheel, and it has no cages on the out. There's no wire caging, so it doesn't hurt his feet, and his feet and arms don't get stuck inside of it. Okay. So this is a six. So he's a Robo hamster. This is a six and a half inch wheel. That was kind and, of expensive, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like twenty bucks. Yeah. Okay. And then this is um, a small animal bath dust. So um, hamsters and chinchillas both watch, wash themselves with this. So we got him a bathtub to use it in. And um, So it's not like water, it's dust. It's charcoal dust. So it says on here it is made out of charcoal and what else? Okay, looks good. Okay, and um, this is his bath we're going to use. This was a potty, but we're switching it. And then, um, so Brooke, she uses this for her bath dust, but we're going to use put bedding in here and see what he wants to do with it first. Then we got um, a wooden stairs so he can climb. Then we got him a little hiding house so he can um, hide in there. And then there's some wooden chew toys. He's going to need lots more toys, but we're just, this is our starter kit. And then these are natural, all natural wooden chews. And those are, so he doesn't um, ingest any paint or coloring like the blocks. So okay. next we got him a, a critter potty and dust bath. He can also use the um, bath dust in his um, potty. It's, they can use it as a bath or as a potty and it comes with everything you need with dust with a litter bath powder and a scoop sifter so we just bought a bigger one so we could refill it mm. and then we got him a hideaway home a wooden hideaway home so he has some area to play and we're going to put this together for him and then we got the sunburst gourmet blend for hamsters i heard this was a really amazing brand and so we're going to try and see if we like it and then these were just little um, millet snips. So I saw a hamster in the store playing with these. And so I decided to pick them up. It's all natural. And we're, that's what we're going for is all natural. Okay. And we got him some tropical carnival foraging treats. These are like Fruit Loops. Yeah, for hamsters. And they looked really healthy, and there's a lot of minerals, vitamins in there, so we got them that. And then um, I got them Yo Dips. These are blueberry flavored treats. These keep them healthy. It gives them a little bit of extra. Um, I did show you have some of these. Yeah, I rebought these. These are really good. I love it. Okay. And then. And this is the bedding. This is the Aspen bedding, and that goes underneath. The, this is the bedding, and this is what we just put in his house. They're both technically um, bedding, but this just gives him something soft to sleep on that you put inside of his beds and in his bowls that he lays in. And then this is um, Aspen shavings. Okay. Are you ready to build?
this thing, and you just pick up a pencil mark, to this thing, which you just pick up a pencil mark. No, I can't do it. What's that about? Let's see how he likes it. She likes those dried berries or whatever those are. Go inside your house. Those are melons. Go inside your house, Lulu. She's like, you guys rock. She's like, you guys rock. Go inside your house. Oh, there she goes. Thing. Like, yeah, but at least it won't make noise at night and it's still for the little baby. 
Yeah, and it won't get his feet stuck. Look at him. He has so much food in his cheeks right now. He's like, dang, thanks, guys. He could probably live in it for like a month without me having to really do a complete clean. Yeah, I watched the video and it said don't clean it for a month. I don't just stop cleaning Yeah. Look, he's living it. Look, he's like, thanks, guys. He's like, this is so cool. And he can wash him. Yeah, his he's totally on display now, and you can see him do everything. His other cage is so ugly. Bye, Bye Lou.